Howdy you two, this is Black River Outfitters, and I've had several people contact me about how to mod the slide on the Smith & Wesson to get it to work on the uh, Polymer 80 frames, and we have lots of mods that we do. I mean, we, we mod uh, Gen 4 Glock OEM uh, to fit the Polymer 80. We, we do a lot of different things. Every, every different mod requires different things. Um, and some it's really I mean all of them are really simple but uh, this is a Smith & Wesson SD 40 VE um, 40 cal slide on the polymer 80 uh, PF 940 C frame and believe it or not this uh, this particular pistol has the uh, I think it's Glock Gen 4 uh, OEM uh, lower parts kit in it the LPK and it was real simple to do we just had to uh, on this the trigger housing that goes in the frame right here the black plastic we had to grind uh, just the tips of the, it off right here so it would fit down in here to in you know the holes would line up for that uh, trigger housing pin and uh, hang on folks, let me, I'll break this sucker down and I'll show you guys how we modded the inside of the uh, Smith & Wesson slides, how we do it. And I'm sure it'll work for you guys, it's, we've been doing it for quite a while. Uh, hang on a sec, I'll be right back. Okay everybody, we're back. Uh, got the slide off. Now, this one right here, the black one on top, this is a complete... Glock 19 OEM slide and let's see find my little handy dandy screwdriver pointer thing this the stainless one is the uh, Smith & Wesson the one we just had on the frame Smith & Wesson SD 40 VE uh, complete OEM slide for Smith & Wesson now this is the part okay this is on the Glock. This is the up, the built up part or milled part on the interior of the slide that engages your trigger reset. And obviously this would just slide right on the polymer 80 frame, should, with no issues. Now, on the Smith & Wesson, as you can see we've already ground this one down. I'll try to do a video on the next one before we grind it down. But in here, there is a built up um, little knob or whatever you want to call it, built up area just ever so slightly in here on the Smith & Wesson slide. Now, if you try to slide this Smith & Wesson slide, complete slide, right on your Polymer 80 frame, it's not going to go on. And what happens is, is it strikes this trigger reset for the Smith & Wesson in here and it will not allow the frame or allow the slide any further back on the frame. So what we do is we grind this down with a Dremel. And I know people are probably freaking out, but hey, when you pay less than 130, 150 to, you know, we paid anywhere from anywhere, uh, I'd say 80 bucks, uh, 60 bucks, 150 bucks for the Smith & Wesson slides. So when you have that kind of uh, money invested in it, you shouldn't be hesitant about grinding this. Just take your time, and it has to be flush. Now, see how this on the Glock? Okay, you have this little uh, area where everything slides. Okay, those are where your rails are going to go. Right there, and on here it's the same way. See how that screwdriver passes through there? That's where your rail's going to go. Now this... Since we've ground it back, and you want to kind of round it off, that's what we do. It works fine. Don't worry. If you take too much off and you think you uh, chingered up your slide, <laughs> believe it or not, you can you can put uh, the gray JB Weld in here. I know that's some hillbilly stuff, but uh, it works. We've already had one where I the very first one I did, I took too much material off, and I actually had to... Uh, get some uh, steel and I put in here and I G JB welded a piece of steel on another one and it worked just fine and it, it has over 500 rounds through it with no malfunctions so just take your time 
you know, grind a little bit down, try to fit it on your slide or on, on your frame, excuse me, and then just keep going and keep going. Now, that's the first mod you're going to need to do. Now, the other mod on the Smith & Wesson is the firing pin is going to be way too long, uh, both in height this way, um, this way, and it's also going to be too long um, right here. So if you have a Glock firing pin, and this we did on one of our first ones that we did, either a 9mm or 40 cal uh, firing pin, depending on which type of slide you're using. Obviously, if you're using the Smith & Wesson uh, 9mm slide, you can easily go with a Glock uh, firing pin for a Glock 19. And what you do is you're going to take out your whole uh, firing pin assembly there, and it has the cup and the springs and all that fun stuff. You want to simply switch you can take out the metal firing pin. You want to use the same parts, uh, channel, you know, channel liner, leave it all in there. The firing pin cups, all, everything. Leave it the same. Just use the metal piece of the Glock firing pin and, and put it all back together and slide it in. And once you've done that, then ground this down, you're ready to rock and roll. As far as, you know, it working on your PF uh, 80 slide. Now, you, what, this one here, what we've done is we've saved money because, you know, these firing pins are, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. And so we thought, well, why spend the money to do that? And we just, what we did was we put it on our grinder and we matched the angles of the, the firing pin here and we ground it down with the Smith & Wesson here. And on the front here, we ground it the same as the Glock. So again, just two simple mods. Either, you know, grind the firing pin uh, connector down where it connects at to your connector in the frame. Or just simply replace it and just grind it down right here, guys. And it's really easy to do. Uh, we'll be test firing this bad boy um, Friday. And I do have another one... Um, probably ready about ready to go let me get it in here and this one is and it's all safe and clear this one is a smith and wesson uh, sw40 ve and it's on a you know pf80 lower pf uh, it's a pf940 uh, c as in charles just the uh, compact frame and there is uh, this one this particular one has a Glock Gen 3 LPK in it and uh, so it was again same mods as what I just showed you we'll probably test fire this one um, maybe the other one I don't know um, I'm not very rich or I wouldn't be making these so ammo prices nowadays, uh, yeah, we may just test fire one, we may test fire both. Um, anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, let me know. Thank you.